1987 Honda Magna and I'm going to remove the rear tire. It's the first time I'm doing this. And I've uh, been looking online, been kind of scared because uh, it's, uh, rear wheel is a uh, disc brake. So this right here scares the shit out of me and I hope when I open this or take it off it doesn't just fall out and then I'm fucked. But uh, we'll see what happens. So let me just give you a little back of the back of the wheel. Shit, I can't even talk. Back of the bike, Honda Magna, uh, 700, well I think this is the V45. Uh, V4 engine, whatever, blah, 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 yeah, 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 okay, so, I didn't have a, I didn't have a socket or anything that would fit this, so I used my old school, uh, pipe wrench, that's the full size, uh, what is that, 24 inch, uh, I don't know, I don't remember, yeah, it's a 24 inch one, broke, broke the seal, opened it, everything's good, left it on halfway, um, Let's see what happens. Okay, so it's so on the freeway and um come back from work and the back started feeling a little squirrely, but I didn't realize I was hauling ass. I was easily doing seventy or eighty. Started getting squirrely every time I'd hit a little rut, you know, on the freeway you have those little seams and uh every time I'd hit it the back would kinda wobble a little, but whatever, we made it home. Woke up this morning and look what I can do. Not cool. If you can do that to your tire, it's fucking flat. <laughs> so, alright, I'm just going to wing it here. Been looking online. I can't find any specific info on how to get this shit off. So, I'm going to make this video. Hopefully, it'll help you guys. If I see, if I make any errors, you'll be able to learn from my mistakes. Wish me luck, people. I'm going to need it. Alright, so. I loosened this right here I don't know if I have to I loosen this down here I don't know if I have to I pulled out the little pin in there to keep it from falling out it was hand tight and uh, what I want to do is take this off right here take this off unloosen it from the tire take this off so I don't have to take this off because I don't know what this does there's a little arrow right there that tells me to match it with the little stub thing there if I don't have to do that shit I'm not going to so I'm going to unscrew all this. My brake lines are going to be shot, but I guess I'll just have to retighten it or something. There's no dynamite. Well, let's see what happens. Worst comes to worst, I just have to take it to a mechanic. And half of his work is done already. So I'm going to unscrew this. So here we go. I'm just going to do all the easy parts now. These came off. These came off. And garbage man is here. Oh, sweet. Bingo. Alright. I'm going to make some this. Oh, and just to let you know, hold on, I'll say when the damn trash man leaves. Shit's loud. Unscrew that. There, it comes with a washer. That's that how that's supposed to be. Oh, it's been. All right. So those are off. This is off. Spins. All righty. I'm going to put these somewhere where I'm not going to lose them, I hope. Oh, shit. You know what I didn't realize? Does it go this way or that way? Oh, damn it. I wonder if that matters. We'll find out when I can't stop. I don't know if this goes like this or like that. I'll check the video later. <laughs> so let's go put these things to the side because these are things that will get lost quick. Oh, yeah, yeah. And up here is a good spot. This is where I keep my lighter. I'm ready to puff. Oh, here we go. So I loosen this. I guess I could pull out the pin now, but I haven't lifted the bike yet, and I'm just going to use this one, but it's not the flat top, so I don't know if that's going to work. If that doesn't work, I'm going to go get the little stump. You know what? I'm going to get that now. Um, you guys can look at my bike while I go get the stuff that I need.
stump. Little stumpy thing. Help me for the front tire. I didn't record that because that's actually way easier. I think. I don't know. Caliper had to give me some problems, but we'll see what happens. Um. All right. I'm gonna lean the bike on the right side up against this thing. This stuff. That way, if it does decide it's gonna fall over, it'll lean up against all my stuff, and it's not actually gonna hit the floor, which happened last time. I'm gonna try to avoid all the drama. All right, so let's move the bike closer. Uh, these are gonna be 10-minute videos. Let's see if they'll let me upload them to YouTube. And uh, it'll be titled, uh, I don't know, Removing Rear Wheel Tire on 87 Magna or some shit. All right, hold on a second. Watch me move my shit. Damn it. Come on, Curtis. Oh, maybe I shouldn't move it while the tire's not on, right? That's dumb. When I don't have brakes either. Alarm system, no alarm. Come on, ice cream. Oh, damn it. Flex those muscles. I'm tired and shit, damn it. Damn, that fucking tired. Alrighty, so the bike's up against the thing, like I said. This is a work in progress, but the bike's leaning. I'm gonna throw the kickstand out just in case it wants to fall over. This is the 1987 Honda Magna 700cc. And let's go ahead and put this stump in. Okay. I'm going to go below the bike. I'm not good at making these videos, people, so bear with me. If you stumble on this video and you don't like the way it looks, you're probably not going to find one that's going to help you any better. So I'm right under the mufflers. Mm, damn it, you can't see. But that's it, right? Oh, here we go. Mufflers connect here, here, and... Right below, I'm going to raise it with this. Let's see if you can see that. It's all about the angle, people. I'm going to raise my bike right here. Looks like it's the frame. All right. Bear with me. I've got about 40 seconds before this. I have to make another one. All right. So I'm going to put the stump on now. And I'm using this thing. One of these. Ta -da, got it from the Ford F-150, uh, 2003, I think, I don't know. But let's fuck around in there. And let's make some music, baby. Oh, yeah. Ooh, oh, barely fits right between the exhaust. Nice. Three, two, one, and...